As you probably know by now, Chinese New Year falls around January and February on our calendar and it's the first day of the Chinese lunar calendar. Now this year, 2013, that happens to be February 10th, which means on February 9th, families will get together and have a huge Chinese New Year Eve feast. Now during this Chinese New Year Eve feast, it is traditionally expected that you don't finish all the food on your plate. Leaving little bits of food on your plate symbolizes that there will be good surprises coming in the new year. Now prior to Chinese New Year, there's a lot of preparation that needs to be done, including the festival of the kitchen god. One week before Chinese New Year, the family will send the kitchen god back to heaven to report to the Jade Emperor whether or not the family has been naughty or nice. The kitchen god resides above the stove, so families will usually have a paper image of the kitchen god somewhere in the kitchen or above the stove. To ensure that the kitchen god will report favorably about the family to the Jade Emperor, the family will prepare lots of sweet treats, cakes and honey for the kitchen god. The idea is if the kitchen god eats that much sweet stuff, his mouth will be stuffed with sweetness. So when he reports to the Jade Emperor, everything that comes out of his mouth will have to be sweet too. Once the kitchen god has had his full of all these delicious sweet treats, the family will ceremoniously burn the paper image, sending him back to heaven. And on New Year's Eve, a new image of the kitchen god will be put in the kitchen to observe another year. Now, hopefully the kitchen god has given the Jade Emperor a good report about your family. That means lots of good luck and prosperity will be coming your way during Chinese New Year. In other words, if you did want to spring clean your house, do so before Chinese New Year. You don't want to sweep away all that good luck during Chinese New Year by cleaning your house. Actually, there's a lot of do's and don'ts surrounding Chinese New Year. The easiest way to remember it is to imagine Chinese New Year as a trailer of your life for the year to come. In other words, if you go to the doctor, for example, during Chinese New Year, that could be seen as not such a good thing because that indicates that in the future or in the, in the year to come, there might be some illness in your family. However, if you have lots of fun during Chinese New Year, you sleep well and you eat well, now that would be a good trailer to the coming year of your life. Also, parents are not supposed to scold or punish their kids during Chinese New Year. So just let them get away with whatever during these two weeks, because if this is in fact the trailer of your life, then you don't want to spend the next year arguing with your kids. Food, of course, plays a major role during Chinese New Year. And one of the most common traditions is to eat foods whole. And by whole, I mean, if you're eating noodles or Chinese chives or spinach or any of these kind of vegetables, you can't cut it. You have to eat the whole thing. Now, by doing this, it symbolizes prosperity and longevity. So if you're gonna be cutting those vegetables or cutting those noodles, it would mean the opposite of prosperity and longevity. So don't be cutting anything during Chinese New Year. Just stick the whole thing in your mouth. Some other foods you should eat during Chinese New Year, number one, oranges. Oranges and mandarin oranges. These are very important. Also pineapple, tofu, sweet ham sandwiches. Traditionally, all of these foods have good luck and prosperity and all kinds of good things connected to them. Speaking of tradition, the core of Chinese New Year must be the legend of the Nian monster. Now Nian, as you know, in Chinese means year. And many, many years ago, there lived a monster called Nian. Every year, he would come out and absolutely terrorize villages. But one year, an old woman from the village gave food and shelter to a wandering beggar. In return, the beggar promised the old woman that he would help them with their monster situation. He told the villagers to put red papers on their doors, and some even went as far as painting their houses red. They also prepared lots of noisy fireworks. When the Nian monster made his usual appearance that year, the red color and the loud sounds of the fireworks scared him so much so that he went running for the hills.
So until today, during Chinese New Year, you will hear lots of loud and noisy fireworks around Chinese New Year, just in case the Nian monster decides to make a reappearance. Which means it's probably a good idea to keep your pets indoors, somewhere safe and quiet, because there will be a lot of noise during Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm.